What's up, family? This is Juan J. Johnson of Real Talk TJI. I'm the president of Real Talk TJI. Coming to you with a Real Talk uh, midday commentary. Um, let me get out the way. You can reach me at JuanJohn29 at gmail.com. That's JuanJohn29 at gmail.com. If you want to send any donations, you can go to GoFundMe.com slash Real-Talk-TJI-Fund. With that said, I just want to come to you this evening, this afternoon, talking about a, a discussion that's probably going to offend some people, going to make some people upset. Uh, but we have to talk about it because, again, we don't live in a vacuum and there comes a time when we must be dissatisfied. For some strange reason, we're not dissatisfied. We just accept anything and everything. And, 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 and I'm at that place in my life where I can't accept anything and everything. So again, <clears throat> let me deal with this topic of genderless. That this European is trying to create a genderless society. He's already created the African American. Trust me, every African in American is a creation of the European. Like Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein. We are his Frankensteins. Let me be clear. We came to American Africans. 400 years of being here, we are American Africans. But he's not finished. He's not finished. He's not satisfied. Now he wants to create a genderless society. And you know who's going to be the face of a genderless society? The African in American or the American African. Family, listen to me. Let me be clear about this. As men, as a father, as a one-time husband. When I laid down with my children's mom, I had thoughts of creating a boy or a girl, not a child who was undecided or indecided about their gender. When we produced those two lovely girls, we raised them two lovely girls to have an affinity, an affection, and a love for men or boys. Let me be clear about that. If I had a boy, which I got some godsons, I raise them and I teach them to love and to have respect and cherish for the ladies and girls. Now, if they grow older and they decide to switch their preference or they decide to say they're struggling with their identity they will find ways to offer some type of help some type of counsel but I cannot sit still and sit back and to allow this European Frankenstein that's what he is he's a Frankenstein he's Dr. Frankenstein to try to create using the face of the African and American as a genderless people. I am so fed up, so tired of seeing brothers in heels, in tight pants, or wrestling with their sexuality because all we continue to see in our print media, in our television, on the radios, is genderless, genderless, genderless. Now let me say something. <coughs> America is only 500 years old. And I know this European wants to be the authority on everything because he's insecure and he's driven by fear. And I know and I understand that this European understands the power of creativity. 
you know, he, he takes the passages straight from the scriptures that, he, that, 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 that God told the man, whatever you name, it shall be. But him trying to make us the face of a genderless society is again where I draw the line. Again, if your preference is to go outside of that which is that which procreates, do that. But I'd be damned if I sit on the sidelines of life and watch this. 24-7 propaganda machine try to convince our young children, our babies and our grown-ups that we live in a genderless society. We don't. I don't accept that. I'll lose some friends. I'll make some enemies. But at the end of the day, we're talking about genetic survival, the survival of the species. We're talking about procreation. We're talking about legacy. We're talking about an inheritance. We're talking about if we subscribe to this genderless society, that would entail that the men was gonna be with the men and the females will be the females, so they can swap each other out. But they won't be doing no procreating. No procreating at all. I'm wearing a Malcolm X shirt right now on purpose. You know why? Because I believe if El, Hali, if El Malik El Shabazz was here today, he would say, we need to disagree with this. He would say that when he married Betty, and he produced those children, those five girls, that he knew they was girls. And he would hope that they would get with some men and produce some children. Look, I don't have to quote no scriptures from none of these books. I'm just going with be I'm just going with biology. Biology. When I was born, I was born with with male. Genitalia. The females are born with female genitalia. Yes, some are, some are struggling with their identity. But I will not, I will not sit back knowing I see these young brothers are struggling with who they are and don't say nothing. The black male is negligent. And negligence is a form of abuse. Do you hear what I'm saying, people? Negligence. I don't have to beat you or hit you to be abusive. I tell a lot of brothers who don't spend time with their children. Negligence is a form of abuse. I'm going to say it again. Because we live in a society that's always about being political correct. And political correct right now. It's destroying our communities because it's telling you don't say nothing. It's like seeing a house on fire and instead of you saying something, you just flip out your phone and just record. That's what we're doing, family. So again, I'm not with this genderless society because I know that when my daughters go out there and they find them a mate, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for some grandkids. You know, I'm looking for somebody to carry my name. I'm looking for the legacy. So don't fall for this genderless, genderless, genderless society family. This brother is in direct violation to biology. Okay. And I'm not afraid to say nothing. You know why? Because I got nothing to lose. I've lost everything. And maybe that's it because many of us have so much to lose that we can't say nothing. I understand that. Just send me the information. I'll say it for you. I have nothing to lose. Nothing. 
but what I what I, but what I intend to protect is my community. And if I got this if I got this screen by myself, because it's apparent that even the pastors aren't saying nothing. But that's what happened when you take that faith based money. Since they since they've taken that faith based money, they haven't said nothing. As a matter of fact, now they're saying, you know, we live in a genderless society. Not so. They're trying to replace the African American community with a genderless society, whereby both both groups will eventually clash against each other. Family, please wake up. Please wake up. If you know, if you see something and you know it's not right, you need to say something. I, look here. Let me be clear. A man has three functions. He's to protect. He provides. And he gives instructions. We are not giving instructions to our children. And our children, our little babies are confused with their sexuality because we're allowing this European, this Dr. Frankenstein, to try to create a genderless society. King said it so eloquently, there comes a time when silence is betrayal. We need to stop betraying our community. We need to take back the power of creativity from this European and apply it to our own community. What do you mean by that? I'm saying this. Every time they find a discovery, like a dinosaur, who, who names it? The person who founds it names it. So how do we apply that same principle to us, to our situation? We need to resist these definitions that he's placed on us because it's not working for us. Again, this is, I, I, I don't subscribe to a genderless society. No, I believe in males and females. I'm gonna stand on that. I believe in, 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 in genealogies. I believe in procreation. You know, everybody's not out here not believing in nothing. I believe in something. What do you believe in, family? Who has convinced you not to believe in procreation? Who has convinced you not to believe in the male anatomy and female anatomy? Yes, we have some little chinks and some little, uh, uh, we, we have some challenges for some of us that, you know, are wrestling with our identity. But that's not for all of us. But this European is trying to push genderless on us. It's almost like he's saying, we've already created them once. Let's recreate this African and American. Or let's recreate this American African. Let's make him genderless. And you know how we do. We take it. We jump on things hook, line, and sinker. Because we want to be, we become the authority on all things he creates. Think about it. If he, if he creates it, we perfect it. Family, we need to wake up. We need to wake up now. Don't just walk past these youngins and these sisters who are struggling with their identity. We have a responsibility for the survival of the species. Unless you just don't care. Maybe you just don't care. Well, I do. So if I'm the only one out here, maybe a few of us are against this genderless society, then I'll be one. I'm not hating on your preference. You do what you if that's your preference, that's your preference. But you cannot tell me that I don't that I can't disagree with your preference when I know the road of a man. 
I know the roads of a woman. 